Hi, Scorpio singles. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Who's coming towards you? What is going on with your singles energy? Anybody new around you or any loving messages spirit has for you? Scorpio sun, moon, rising in Venus. Spirit, I am listening for you now. What is it that you want my Scorpios to know? Let's see what they have. I have responsibilities. Your romance is being interrupted. So somebody may be saying, I've got a lot on my plate or I'm really busy with work right now. So Spirit just said, are they using that as excuses or is that is it true? And are you understanding? Are you understanding and being patient? So let's see where we're headed with that. I've got a disguise. Yeah, there's a little bit about um, coming into me that somebody is kind of using responsibilities as an excuse. Um, not that they don't want to be with you, but they want to be with you in limited times, like on their schedule, not on your schedule. So it's almost like they're trying to control um when they see you and how often they see you. So that might be something that's going to be a struggle moving forward. We want to be careful with that. I do have real feelings. Um, you share romantic feelings with this person. I am feeling that we have real feelings for each other, but somebody's trying to control the pace of this. They're trying to um, almost dictate like where this connection's headed on their terms, but there's two people in this connection. So we both have to be in this connection. Let's see what spirit wants you to know um, about this person. I have a judgment card. Now, if this person's in your energy already, you can claim it. If not, you can use this reading to manifest. I have a judgment today. I have a higher fan. So that's coming into me as I do feel a, a deeper spiritual connection. I do feel like there is a reason why you've been put in my life or it feels very natural to me that you're in my life. So I hate to pass judgment on this person. I'm trying to give them almost the benefit of the doubt that when they say they're busy, they really are truly busy. They're not just pushing me aside. Spirit just said, um, that they do need some a break. They need a rest from their work or kids or life or responsibility. Um, but you don't want to be the back burner either. You don't want to be down on the list of, you know, at the end of the day, after I've got everything done and everybody else is taken care of that, oh, and now I have time for my person. So you want to be the person that they think about that you are coming first. I mean, this page energy is kind of charming and, and inviting and excited and it's like new love and it's worthy. And um, so we want this person to be more excited about you and wanting to, I guess, almost go out of their way, even in addition to everything that's on their plate. Um, Spirit just shared with me the word invite, okay? that they invite you into their life. They invite you into their world, something like that. So um, something is going on. I have a queen of pentacles. I mean, I do like the sense of I'm secure with or without this person, but I do like this energy of, I want this person in my life. I feel like um, this person is meant to be in my life. They're in my heart. They're in my soul. Spirit just said. Um, so I'm definitely starting to have some true feelings. So let's see what. Um, let's see if they'll give me some clues about this connection. Singles, new love coming towards you. Any clues about this connection? What is it that you need us to know? Meeting through a friend. Okay. So um, a little bit of a feeling of. Um, I was excited about the first time I met you or we hit, I'm going to say we hit it off, you know, like that's probably the best way to say it. Like, you know, let's just say you met at a party. Let's just say you met at an event, something like that, but we hit it off and it feels good. It feels like, um, we just, you know, kind of connected. And, um, that is, that is a good, that was a good, like initial contact. I have a festive, um, that's coming into me as being together around the holidays, or we both celebrate Christmas, um, and we will be together for the holidays. So they're already thinking ahead. Um, I have a Pisces energy. I have wintertime energy. There's my there's my holidays. Okay, so that's telling me that down the road that this is this is lasting. That you're you're together over the holidays, or somebody just anticipates that you'll still be together. You know, heading into the fall and into the winter. So this connection is moving forward in that in that regard. 
cup of coffee, this hitting it off, you know, just this meeting a friend, um, you know, it, it was just a feeling of we, there was an instant connection. We have a lot in common. Um, we in, are enjoying each other. I have chill vibes. We just hung out. It wasn't a big deal. Um, just very kind of soothing energy. I will say that excuse me, I will say that, soothing energy. I have a carnival and a fair. Now that's coming into me more as um, this is going to be a good time <laughs> is how it's coming into me. Not that you're going to a carnival, um, but that this is going to be a good time. I also have spiritually connected. So I love that. Uh, let's get a couple other signs. What sign may they be spirit? What sign do you want me to know? I have a Sagittarius today. I have a Scorpio coming in. I have a Libra and let's get one more of these and I have a Leo. So let's grab some letters or some other clues, anything spirit. Let's see what first initials, last initials. Um, again, if you're confirming, don't worry if you don't see your person's initials, they're just clues. I have somebody's in shape, slim. I have something about somebody's nose. Maybe they don't like their nose or maybe uh, like, the whole family has the same nose, you know, and you're like, you look just like your brother. I could tell because of the noses, you know, something like that. Like everybody looks the same. Uh, very independent. It just came into me as very almost established or secure in their area of their work. Um, I do feel uh, um, they're using the word, I have old fashioned spirit guides. So they just use the word um, debonair to me, like this kind of old fashioned gentleman or old fashioned um, uh, mannerism, sometimes very polite or um, very um, respectful, I guess I wanna say, uh, very debonair is the word. I have um, the, the letter U, I have a letter H today. I have very fashionable. Yeah, I do feel like this person's very polished. I do feel like they're very pulled together, very high value energy. Um, so this person is um, just have a lot on their plate and you just want to make sure that you're not at the bottom of the list. Whoa, I've got a jumper. I've got the letter K flying out of my deck and let's get one more. I've got somebody is shorter than the other. So there's some kind of height distance, uh, height uh, difference between the two of you. Spirit, please share with me some feelings. What feelings do we have? What do you want me to know? I have, we're very attracted to you. I do feel that. I mean, I, I have this page and, and I think that when I said we hit, we hit it off, I'm going to say that's exactly our first impression. Like we really hit it off. I mean, and you hate to walk away from somebody you hit it off with because it's not every day you hit it off with somebody, right? So I think that that's the key. It is a perfect match. We just want, we want to make sure that you are on the top of the pile of things to do. I have romance is blooming and I have moving in together. So I feel like this person's thinking big picture, maybe, you know, eventually part of the, um, part of the difficulty is maybe we have a little bit of a distance between us. There's some travel around work and scheduling, you know, so living together, we get to see each other and we have more of a life together eventually. So I'm not saying right out of the gate, but eventually maybe that's where we're headed. So that could work. Wind spirit very soon. Thank you, spirit. I have sooner than expected. So we've got this love arriving and I have in the spring, but this could also be a um, birthday month. It could be like um, April, May, June, they're born. And I have March. I feel lucky with this connection. Again, it could be a birthday month for somebody. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words. If you'd like to book a private reading, check out my website. I'll put it in the description below. In the meantime, have a great day.